Welcome back to another YouTube video and today I will be showing you guys how I do my internal linking. I'm going to be going over three different strategies. Strategy one and two, they are a little bit more of a manual process. However, strategy number three is with fully AI. And the reason why I'm showing you three different strategies, there is obviously more time slash cost involved in each different strategy. So you might end up deciding to go out with strategy number two or strategy number three or whichever one actually suits your website the best. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So this is the Fat Rank website. Before we get into this video, make certain to check out cadradash.com where you can book me out for a free 15 minute strategy call and I can go over how you can grow your organic traffic for your website. As we can see here on Ahrefs, it has been growing tremendously well. And one of the things that we have actually started to do is taking our internal links a lot more seriously. Now, as a website owner, I have done this myself. I have in the past negotiated neglected internal links and I've just hoped that Google will actually crawl my website and it and a lot of the times that's not the case, especially if you do start scaling out a bigger website, internal links become more and more important because that's ultimately how Google crawls your entire website. So if you go and add 50 pages to your website tomorrow and they don't have any internal links and overall your website has 350 pages now, Google will essentially end up struggling crawling your website. So you always do need to bear in mind that internal links are super important, especially if you are mass producing articles with AI or if you do have an army of content writers, make certain that you have an editor on top that is going through and internally linking all of your new articles. So this is our tiered link building 2024 page on FatRank and this is a very, very new article. One thing that we actually have our staff doing is doing site call on FatRank and then the keywords. So in your instance, if you are trying to rank for example, lawyers in London, or if say for example, you have an affiliate site and you're trying to rank for best running shoes for men, you might want to obviously change that keyword. But obviously our seed keyword is tiered link building 2024. We're just going to search site colon fatrank.com space tiered link building. And all of these articles further down the search should be theoretically linking back up to our tiered link building page. So for example, if I had a VA or a member of staff actually doing this, I would get them to essentially check to see if we are internally linking from our tier two page to our tiered link building page. And if we aren't, we definitely need to because tier two links and tiered link building, they are super relevant and they should be linking to one another. So that's been method number one. Method number one is a little bit more of a time consuming task because you obviously need to, first of all, do site call on your website.com and then the keyword, and then you need to physically go through all of these pages. Now, this will be the most powerful way of actually doing tiered link building, mainly because you are doing contextual super relevant links and you are obviously looking at the SERP and what Google is presenting to be the most relevant articles to your main keyword. So that's been method number one. Now I'm going to show you method number two. So method number two is a little less time consuming. However, I still do recommend you guys do this. So with method number two, we have actually capitalized on categories. Now, a lot of people don't categorize their posts and I don't know why. Categories are there to essentially tell which articles are relevant to one another. So for example, if we check out the SEO Dubai page on FatRank, as we can see here, we have got all of these different articles and this is all done by categorizing posts. So we are essentially showing the most relevant posts to the SEO Dubai page. Now you can take this one step further and also use multiple categories. So for example, on the Dubai page, we actually have two different categories. We have got the different industries here. So e-commerce, SEO Dubai, SEO accounting firms, Dubai, but we also have services that we offer in Dubai as well. So we have got the best directories in UAE. We have got Instagram advertising, Google My Business in Dubai, Facebook advertising. So one thing to make certain that you are doing when you are using categories is the fact that you're not going too broad. So a lot of people will just stick 600 posts in one category. Now that is actually the wrong way of categorizing posts and I'll go into a little bit more detail as to why that is. So as we can see here, the first category is all of our industries, so hotels, insurance companies, jewelers, law firms, etc. etc. Now, the second one is obviously the services that I mentioned before. 
Now, if we actually go into one of the services here, off-page SEO services in Dubai, we don't actually see any of the industries mentioned on that page. Now, the reason for that is because the off-page SEO services, it's more relevant to actual services. It's not really relevant to law firms or it's not relevant to hotels. So that's why we don't actually internally link from this page, the off-page SEO services in Dubai to, for example, the law firms page. We may actually contextually link throughout this article, However, we don't actually have them in the exact same category. And the reason for that is because of how relevant the actual pages are. So that's been method number two, making certain that we're categorically internally linking to the correct pages. Method number three is with complete AI and it's probably the easiest method. However, that being said, you might want to take a little bit more time as to making certain that the internal links are going to the correct pages and I'll show you why. So this is my brand new website and it's just a test website for now where I'm just testing different things. However, I have published 24 articles a few weeks ago on this website and the tool that I will be using for this is Link Whisperer. Now, one thing that Link Whisperer does is once you have installed it on your website, it crawls your entire blog post and all your pages and it will find internally linking opportunities for you so you don't need to do it manually. So this is the Link Whisperer plugin. Once it's scanned all of your pages, it will then tell you all of your internal link opportunities. So if we, for example, go onto this page here, scroll, scroll all the way down to the bottom, as we can see here, Link Whisperer suggested links. Now, you don't need to tick all of the actual opportunities that it gives you. However, one thing that you can very quickly do is figure out if they are relevant to the page that you're internally linking and then click on insert links into post. Now for this example, I'm just going to click on check all and I'm going to click insert links into post. And if we go back to the actual page here, as we can see here, it is linking to our skinny vanilla lattes page and it actually has done a really good job there. Now, one thing you will find with Link Whisperer is that it's not gonna get it 100% perfect every single time. That goes with VAs, that goes with staff and the whole purpose of Link Whisperer is to essentially speed up the process. And I feel like Link Whisperer does an extremely good job of actually doing that. Now, one thing it will do is that it will maximize your staff's output. So for example, if they are only only able to build 25 internal links in a day. With Link Whisper, they might be able to build 50 internal links in a day. Will it get all 50 right? However, by using Link Whisper, they will be able to maximize their output. And that's what you should be focusing on as an SEO, trying to scale out more internal links, trying to scale out more content, trying to scale out more backlinks. So that's been my three ways of internally linking. If you do have any questions, drop them down below and make certain to check out cadradash.com. The link is in the description where you can book me out for a free 15 minute strategy call for your website. Thanks.